as you check the children. Show a little mess of time. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And I'm Robert Duell. And this is our cheese at the end of the rainbow, which is a terribly mixed metaphor. Cheese at the end of the maze, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for sitting through the Howling movie series, you guys. Robert and I reviewed all eight entries into this series, and we only just got our hands on part seven. Once again, shout out to patron Mikey Mnemonic for being clutch in that arena. But we are here, guys, to do a tier list ranking of the entire Howling franchise, as you can see here to our, to our right, to your left, compared to where you're seeing us. But um, Robert, this is what we're doing here. So you haven't done a tier list ranking before, nope. and apparently you haven't watched any of them either. So Shame on me, I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> so what we're doing for those uninitiated is we're gonna take every movie in the Howling series down here on the bottom row, and we are going to place them in a ranking. You see A, B, C, D, and F. Y'all might remember school, No. okay? That's what we're doing. An S tier, if any of you have ever played Mario Kart, you'll know that there is an S ranking just above the A ranking. Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't know what it means, special, uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Better than the rest. Whatever it is, yeah. Better, oh, I feel like that's a song reference and I don't know what it is, but I was about to sing a one that I made up for myself and I'm just drunk enough to abort, abort, abort. So here we go, guys. We're gonna jump into the Howling movie series the way Fuego and I are doing all of the Stephen King novels. Mm. Um, I think by the time this goes up, uh, likely those will be available. Uh, most, if not all of them, will be up. And then we will also, Fuego and I have recorded a novel tier, or a, a, excuse me, a tier list ranking of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, the Child's Play movies, and we are planning to do a tier list ranking of the Critters movies. So we have a lot coming up as far as tier list rankings go. I personally want to do a Jaws tier list ranking. I want to do a tier list ranking for all of these movies that I love so, so much. <laughs> so you'll have to tell me what you want to be a part of, but let's dive into the werewolf of it all shall we let's do this and we're gonna start with the first and in my opinion and i think most people's opinion the absolute best the howling the original indeed uh we loved this movie in our review yep. and i think we gushed about it very properly i think it's one of the best uh werewolf movies of all time it has a fantastic story d wallace kills it as the actress and the effects are unparalleled. I think this is an, personally, this is an easy S. Yes, indubitably. I wholeheartedly agree. Okay. Um, yeah. What do you like about it? One thing I definitely like about it and everything is, th this movie has a special, like, a special place in my heart for as a kid. Okay. Grew up with werewolves and everything. This movie was one of the ones that, again, bought with I, I bought with my own money, had to return it because of Did the Did you content. really? Yep. Oh, that's Th adorable. This and then Evil Dead. Evil Dead was actually my, my first movie that I bought with my That's own That's a great money. rental day. Yeah. That is then, a great yeah, rental yeah, day. I had, had to return that one because of the content. Fair enough. It was, it was horse shit. <laughs> um, but no, like, I absolutely love this movie. Um, it, what's cool is, too, if you guys don't know, that um, Rick Baker was originally the make makeup effects artist on this. That's why the uh, transformation scenes are so similar to American Mortal from London. Mm -hmm. so, but he actually left that this project to work on American Mortal from London. So I can yep. only only imagine what the what the what the uh, transformation scenes would have been if he stayed on this project. Totally. Yeah. Now you've watched a lot of werewolf movies, mm -hmm. like I have. Um, the story, the cult, you know, the, the, that, that the all of that. I, that is How do you like? It's got to stand above, right? It definitely does, especially because, like, it was still at the time an original story. Mm -hmm. Especially because, like, that whole, you know, you didn't really have the whole werewolf cult aspect. You had the satanic cults. Correct. Things like that and whatnot. But when you when you branched it out to... Commune. Help, the commune community. The, whatever. The community, but also to the people in the community that... Cocoon with out, werewolves. That are outreached into 
normal day society and everything mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. That was also in the, not necessarily like the scary aspect of it and everything, but the real, real world kind of aspect. Well, of that it. was the surprise aspect yeah. when you realized that the doctor that yeah. recommended she go was also a wolf. Yep. Yeah, all of that. Like there was surprises. There was wonderful acting and effects and just. I still want to get my hands on those books. Yeah, right. you know, you made me honestly. Because you said it, now I like have to be the one-up collector, and I have to be like, <laughs> I gotta get my hands on that goddamn that bad moon Thor book, yeah. and I gotta get my hands on the original Howling book. It's There's gonna cost me. And here's the thing: Robert is smarter than me. He's not willing to spend the money. I'm willing to just spend the seventy-five bucks on eBay just to get it done with. <laughs> like that's the problem. Yeah, he's a smarter collector. I'm a more <laughs> quick collector. <laughs> like I definitely like if it was in, if it was more reasonably priced, you goddamn seventy five bucks for a paperback novel is tough. It's tough. I, I haven't pulled the trigger yet, <laughs> but I'm tempted to. I'm the guy that spent one hundred and fifty dollars on one issue of the Nightmares on Elm Street oh, yeah, comic I book. Tell him about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Woof. <laughs> Hot diggity dog. All right, so let's move on to part two. Now, here's the thing about part two. And, and I would state this in our regular ranking if I did it. I still, I used to love part two, but I'm very clear as to why. I watched part two as a teenage boy and yep. there were boobs, boobs, boobs. And I can't tell you how many times I had to have put the closing credits on this movie on and then rewound and then on and then rewound because then you just get howling oh i know howling like, oh my god How, just you just get the main girl yeah. ripping open revealing her tits over and over and over again it was a good like what like 45 seconds of a full minute shot just repeat 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 like, over like, and over again and here's the th- but but here's the thing revisiting it as a re- as an adult <laughs> that is not hard up for boobs like a 13 year old boy it is horrible it is terrible christopher lee is the a fantastic grace. actor but i don't even think he can save the movie but he's he the only the best part about he's the, movie. the only appreciable thing okay in the movie okay but that does not make him good in the movie he he is entertaining but my god the stuff that he surrounds himself with is such trash it is basically fake werewolf porn so much so that there's literally a sex scene that starts on one day and ends like three days later as it's presented yeah into a giant wolf orgy that no one ever touches privates on they're all just like face to face to face and going like (laughs) apparently going like hey robert I just fucked you, apparently. <laughs> oh, woo. According to... Jeez. We've done it now. You even buy me dinner. We, no, no. <laughs> the, no, that sort of relationship sex does not necessitate dinner burn, b- oh, burning. Burning. Buying. I feel cheated. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to use you and lose you like Ugh. that. But, all right. So, here's the thing. Where Now, I'm not going to lead off every single one. I think no. S was easy. Where would you place this? This one, honestly, just simply because of... It's more. It's from what I've read. It's more true to the books and every okay. to to the sequel book and everything of this, but with how how terribly they went about the makeup and the world design, I honestly I would this would at least be on a between a B or a C. That's where I'm at. Like, I'm at a B or a C, and the location filming and everything being Romania and things like that. Like you always. You always have me a sucker for that. I love everything about that. Because cover. of but, the strict amount of cheesiness and the fact uh, that they literally just did boobs over and over again, this does feel like the ultimate B horror movie. Yeah, it and was so, basically a cash grab. It was. Um, but knowing where the series goes, this isn't the worst of the no. series. I'm with you. I'm with B or C. But we need to decide. Can you make an argument for one more than the other? Not so much. Not on this one. I really. think it's. I, would say... I think it's boldly stupid enough to make it into B, but I could be convinced to keep it C. You don't seem like you, I your reaction is C. C. All right. I'm. I see. I could fold to that. Yep. Because I'm only doing it out of like sort of people's nostalgic love for this film, and I don't have that. 
and I don't... I have a nostalgic love for the credit sequence. <laughs> but the rest of the movie is such trash that I am happy actually putting it in a C. Valid. Okay. So now, okay. here's where we're going go to start to get interesting, okay? So now we're going to start to get to the extremely questionable sequels. We're going to get to the Howling 3 Marsupials. Now, this is one that... While the story and movie is really bad, it's still they had a lot of effects. They did a lot of effects. But like even okay, so even like the weird um like there there was some like even weird camera shots and everything like that. It was like it, it made it me seem more comical and laughable than than anything. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't I've never liked The this nuns, movie. the the, the kangaroo just, werewolf nuns are ridiculous looking. Well, just the fact that the whole the whole um, marsupial thing, the pouch, like they were the pouch so of it all, stupid. it is really bad. Like I, I never have liked this movie. Okay. I've never. Liked Where would you rank it? This would be at least a solid D. Yeah, you got to have room. Here's the interesting thing about this: when Fuego and I were doing the Stephen King novel tier list mm -hmm. ranking, we like we have to have room to grow. You know, we have to be able to have room to go. This is like we have to have room for more lower movies because they get really bad. So consider that. I, oh, but I, I am. I, I agree. I think this would be a D as this well. This is a solid D. If, if, if Howling 2 is a C in our ranking, Howling 3 is absolutely yep. a D. Here's the thing. As we get beyond, I wouldn't be surprised if both of those shifted up. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. That's the fun of these rankings. That's the fun of these rankings, and not pre-talking about me, Sorry, guys. I already had my uh, my tier thing kind of written up. So. You d oh, did you? Okay, you did. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that's the fun about the discussion, right? So, exactly. So Things we, change. Hey, you never know. Maybe the talk uh, fixes or, or, or doesn't fix. I'm so OCD. Okay. All right. So that leads us to the Howling 4. What is it? Original Nightmare. Original Nightmare. Okay. See, and I, I actually like this one a lot better than the other two. Even some of the ones that we are coming up to in the future. Uh, see, the problem is it's such a ripoff of the original that it I, is, I didn't like it nearly as much. the one thing I did like is they, they recreated new werewolf suits for this movie that looked good. Like, but they didn't even have a single transformation except for the melty one. I, I, I know. I was... I, I know, that was my, actually my biggest gripe about, well, second biggest, well, well first biggest gripe, because the second one would be the, the ghost nun. Oh my god. It made, that was so I forgot pointless. the ghost nun. Yeah, the ghost nun was I pointless. forgot about the ghost nun. That's like, Amanda Kruger is the only ghost nun that exists in horror movies, to be honest with you. I haven't watched enough Freddy the... Yeah, let's see. Get I just get the fuck out right now. I like I vaguely remember like recognize the name. You're fired. I'm You're I'm so sorry. fired. All right, back I'm to the sorry. howling. Like I've watched Freddy, but it's like I've, I haven't watched him in so long. And guys, I am triggered right now. Woo! All right, so um, back to Howling Four. Um, so so the only werewolf effects are towards the end. But isn't this the one that also had? The big alpha wolf at yes. the very end. Yes. So Which that was does push a it up. Doctor again. So that pushes it up for me because mm -hmm. that was cool. I, again, it's a pale, pale imitation of the original film. However, I think you're right. I think I would still watch this again before I would watch I've the watched, Howling I've two watched, or three. I've watched this and um, a couple of the, a couple of the other ones way more than the other. It ones. absolutely cannot be above a B. No. Would you have put it a B or a C? This one, because it's of, above, it's it would, above two. It though. is definitely above two, and that's simply just because. Of, so you put it a B. Uh, okay, yeah. So we'll just throw it at the B. Cut to the chase. And that's basically just because <laughs> of the the recreated werewolf effects and everything. I liked the new design, especially the um, the seductress. We'll just call her and everything during her transformation when she affects yeah. the boyfriend. Yeah. I liked that werewolf look. Okay. That, as a kid, that actually freaked me out. Okay. All right. So now, though, now we start to get into the actual not bad no. Howling sequels, right? So, so now we get into Howling Five Rebirth. Now, this is the castle one, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. And so, this werewolf actually is the, a reuse of the alpha wolf from the previous. Oh, it is. Yep. The same effect or the same like same shots? wolf. 
That's okay. why we didn't really see it much. Why they shadowed it? Mm. Because it was the same werewolf. Like, like that is, yeah. That. And we didn't, we didn't even see it until realistically at the very end of the movie. If we saw yeah. it before, it was just in one shot of it rushing out of the darkness. Yep. And that was it. Here's the thing. The reason I would mark this above. <sighs> see, here's where we're gonna run into a problem. This is definitely better than four, but it is not an A horror no. movie. No. No. So I, and we like, might need to I've rejigger watched, this a little I've bit. I've watched this one way more times over than I've watched um, four. So so I'm half tempted to move four and two each down a peg. Put two down to a D with marsupials. Because really, is it that much better than marsupials? And then Not keep four to C and then put Howling Five at a B. That's where I'm feeling we should be at. If we're yeah. if we're realistically ranking yeah. this, because this is better than four, but you cannot say that this is an A no, ranked. No, no, absolutely not. It's Ab B at best. Yes, but it is a prime example of what a good B horror movie can be. True, and they one thing that was really nice about this, they actually did try and do a semi original story. It was still tied in with the original and everything like that to a point. Um. So this, this is, again, this is what mm. I think should happen. I think we need to move marsupials over. Yeah, two goes down. I think D. we need to move two down to marsupials level. And then I think we need to move four down to two's X level. Mm -hmm. It's because of the melting scene. Yeah, and that's the only reason. Mm -hmm. That was um, the worst fucking tr werewolf transformation I've ever seen. But it's still better than the non-transformations we got in later movies. Valid. valid so so again i think five is a b i, I think it's a mm -hmm. it's a good b mm -hmm. it's like a it's a really good b horror movie the there's the agatha christie of it all mm -hmm. so a group of people this... are called to a castle they don't know why they're all invited for a particular reason and it turns out one of them is actually a werewolf trying to kill the rest mm -hmm. and um it's an engaging story there's not much wolf but honestly the story didn't necessitate an entire amount of werewolf. No, because like it's more focused did. about the actual people. Exactly, and right. the storytelling yep. of the who done it. Yeah, and that's why this one actually is the most rewatchable out of all of them. And oh no, no, the first one. Well, well, well uh, outside well, okay. of the first one. Okay, outside of the first one. Yeah, yeah. Outside, outside of the first. Fair one. enough. The first one is a null and void. No yeah, shit. Yeah, I think I think like, everything no outside of the fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That might have been this unnecessary statement on my part. This one. It, I, like again, like I've said, I've, I've rewatched this one the most out of all the rest of them, except for obviously the first one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and that's simply because of again, I like I like the castle, I like the mystery aspect and everything like that. So yeah, I, I'm I'm happy with being at a, at a B. At a B, okay. Yep. Now here's here's something that's gonna get interesting though. Now we get into the Howling Six freaks. I really like this one. Like really like I, it though. I did. Like I, I, I like always, to make. You know what? You're right. I've always really liked this one, especially like, okay. Like Bruce Payne was awesome. Like, like I liked his vampire character. The the makeup was cool. The mm -hmm. um the bipedal werewolf again design. The I, alligator boy was good. Yeah. The, like the makeups and everything was actually really nice. Um, so I would agree. I think this is definitely better, but I think and, I think it's on the level of five. I still don't think it reaches a level, but I think this is a a, a high B. I think it's on the level of five. You think it's better than five? Well, just, I'm more so, okay, because this one is, again, it goes back to the third book. Okay. And everything. So, okay. it, well, we're not ranking the books now. I understand, I, but the continuity to, like, the source material is kind of what I'm thinking of in a written okay. story. Okay. So, if you're But going, movie presentation. Movie presentation, I thought this was. Would you give it an A? You can't give it an A. A B plus? Put it right a B in the plus. Middle. It's still a B, but I'll give it a B plus. If if Howling Five is a B B minus, Howling Six is a B plus. I'll give it that. Okay, but it's still a B. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I personally, I like, I I find it more more enjoyable than definitely like. But is like it an five, A tier but... movie? don't not like this movie like, all right all right all right look you're passionate i get it 
I get I like, it. I like my world. I f- I'm tempted to yield to your I'll, passion. I will. I will. I will concede, and we will leave this at a B. At a B plus. B plus. Okay. All right. At B plus. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. All right. Bumblebee. Um, all right. Uh, it's probably completely different movies referenced just then, but all right. That's gonna lead us to this, which we just reviewed. And F. A, a moment. Okay. No, I agree. F. I think this is the easiest F that I've ever given any time ever. This is the single worst horror sequel of all time that I can consider. This movie was a crap show. And you don't even, like, if you guys haven't watched this, try and find the version that we were able to watch. Which the one with Joe Bob. Joe Bob from TNT's Monster Vision from back in the day. <laughs> when? That, back in the day. That made me feel so old I watching would, it, but it was still... Honestly, Joe Bob's parts were was, so much more entertaining than the movie. It, honestly, it was probably like early 2000s. No, that late? I, possibly. Oh. 90s. Some late ni- late 90s, early 2000s. So if you didn't know, part 7 is just a repurposing of clips from part 4, 5, and 6. Mm-hmm. And, and, and a bunch of non-actors, real people living in a town, um, singing their actual co- country western songs. Pappy and his wife singing actual country western songs that had nothing to do with anything except pushing their country western songs this movie was just the trashiest trash what, what else can you say about it um not a whole I lot i want to good... strangle myself even I, I know we literally just got done with this and i have to talk about it again um no like this movie was straight up the worst out of the entire series of howling movies the the one like even his okay so we have Clive Turner, who is a semi reprising his role of Ray or Ted, one of the, one of these damn characters. Ray Ted, Ted Ray, Ted Ray, Ted Ray, Ted Ray, <laughs> um, from uh, how, uh, Howling. Well, he was originally Howling Four as a tow truck driver. Mm-hmm. He was a werewolf, and then in Howling Five, he's uh, he comes back as this Australian guy. Now he comes back as this, in this one as the same Australian guy, but he's not a werewolf, but yet he was referenced in the movie from Draco in number four, and also talked about in five as being left for dead at the castle, and this movie is a shit show. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. And like if you if you guys can avoid this, please avoid it. But if you're if if you if you're if you have to watch this, just watch it. Good luck finding it. Good luck finding it. If you're curious, let us know, and, and we can maybe help you out, thanks to a uh, friend of the show, Mike Mnemonic, helping us finally get our hands on it. True, but this is easily the worst and most forgettable out of the entire entire series, and I still don't understand how he even got funding for this out of the street. I'm the kind of guy that likes to give credit, even on a small scale if I possibly can, but... This is so F tier. He made a movie. It's the most F tier that's ever F tiered, in my opinion. It's so bad. So, that yeah. leaves us with the final movie in the Howling franchise. And here's the thing we're doing this partially because apparently someone is rebooting it. And if I'm not mistaken, Again? it's. Yeah, no, apparently it's someone big. I'm going to look it up. I think it might be. I'm not going to. I'm not. I don't want to misspeak, but I think it might be the guy that did Crawl. Because um, hmm. I know they've Alexander been... Aha. Oh, because I, I know they've been trying to get um, the Howling... like on uh, upcoming horror movies. I know they've been trying to get a remake off the ground, um, and then also for American Wolf in London too. Um. Uh... Oh, that's right. So January 9th of twenty twenty, uh, it franchise director Andy Machetti was in early talks to helm the Howling reboot. So that's what I was remembering. That's the last we heard about it. So it's been six months since we've heard anything. There might have been news since then, but um, we'll also, see what happens also down with the all line. There's crap going on right now, too. So. so the final film in the franchise that we have as of recording this is The Howling Reborn, which was the reboot, which was the Twilight yeah, reboot it was of straight the up franchise. a Twilight version of, of the Howling series, but they also tried to still keep it somewhat 
gritty and mean, but doing a teen love story that... But it had cool wolves. No, it really didn't. Towards the end, the big tall ones? Okay, the... Okay, the, the, the two main wolves the two that fight at the wolves, end are okay. great. The other foot soldier Horrible. wolves, the naked muskrat licking things. No, those were they were shit. terrible. But the two main wolves were great. At the they end. weren't. They, they they weren't bad. Okay, like they weren't. Maybe not great. They weren't bad. Weren't bad. I'm guessing that you and I are gonna slot this over there next to four. Wow, is that not you were too high for you? No, that's actually right where I was thinking. Yeah, of. yeah, slide that yeah. right on the sea because it's it's. Far better than marsupials. Far better than marsupials, but but not as enjoyable no. on certain levels as five and six. No, I'm not a teen anymore, so this really took me. And even, and even when I was a. Well, fuck, I wasn't even a teen when this fucking thing came out. I was <laughs> in my early 20s. Shh, we don't need to focus on that. <laughs> We're young! <laughs> He's a lot older. Than <laughs> Shut <me>. up! <laughs> Party <laughs> on, dudes! Right. Wait, but is no, that not. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I even avoided this movie. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong I avoided this too. movie when this fucking came out. Okay. I, like, I followed it and everything when it was first announced on upcoming horror movies. And as soon as I kind of read the synopsis and started getting more uh, screenshots and stuff, it just looked crap. And then once we got the trailer, no. But it's not as crap as 2 or Marcy. No. Kills. No. It's not as cheesy fun no. as 5 or 6, but it's not as crap as 5 or Marsupi or 2 or Marsupials. I do think it's on the enjoyment level of four. I think that's pretty pretty it accurate. Is, it is. Two's better than this because of the boobies. <laughs> yeah, but is no, that I'm enough? Just fucking, is that enough? I'm just fucking around. Again, no. if we ranked this when I was fourteen, two would be S tier. <laughs> two would be S tier right. for sure. No, no, Howling Reborn is definitely a, a C list, most definitely. Like, it's still watchable, but it's not. It's not rewatchable. We're. I feel like we're gonna get some shit for the ranking of two but i don't care guys when's the last time you watched two like we just watched two for our watching of the series and it just doesn't it's not good it no. doesn't hold up there's no good the makeup effects are terrible they terrible like walking gorilla pacing is, well no that was the thing so apparently this movie howling two i learned this from listening to the um how did this get made podcast mm. when they listened to it or they watched this movie they were sent gorilla suits and they had to make the gorilla suits work for the movie wow. that's why they looked so fucking terrible and you I just said something that made me think oh they're oh because they were gorilla suits that makes a lot more they sense weren't werewolf they suits like giant gorillas yeah <laughs> holy sheep shit with double back batman yep so there you go wow so there you go guys revelation on camera caught right there so i still love christopher lee Oh, he's great. He's above hey, his station. Hey, he, Christopher uh, Lee is is at least B level, but that movie is so F tier that it just drags him down. So yeah, we'll keep that at the D. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's. I think guys. I think that's gonna do it for our uh, our ranking of the Howling movie series. Why don't you let us know in the comments down below whether you agree with us or not? Um, interesting that we don't have any A tier. Usually what happens with these tier list rankings is there's a bell curve, which is has happened with um, a number of the other series, but this one, I guess, technically is also a bell curve, just a little disjointed because there's no A-list movies in this series. No. So, there, there is really only one worthy, yeah. worthy, worthy movie out of this entire thing. I think the lesson we're learning, guys, is watch the Howling one and just skip the rest of them. Yep. Honestly, you could at least watch, like, freaks and like rebirth like, if you want they're, they're dumb bad, silly yeah. fun maybe but if you want a good horror movie watch the first one and move along son yep like nothing to see here truth so um again some of these tier rankings aren't going to make you guys happy but you know we got to be honest about them so why don't you let us know in the comments down below do you agree with us on our rankings where would you move certain movies if you had to but um Oh man, I'm interesting in that. I'm interested in that conversation. So, thank you guys very Bring much for watching. If you enjoyed this ranking video, let us know by clicking that like button and subscribing. If you want to make sure you don't miss the other tier list rankings that we have in the pipeline, because I'm sure there are more. I mean, I want to do Jaws. I want to do Candyman. I want to do a bunch of them coming up, man. So we're gonna we're gonna get to all oh, those man. in our due time. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird. Ever I'm still looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> and remember, stay, stay scared. scared. <laughs>